organizations and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It is Friday, and you know what that means? The weekend is here. That's right. A little Friday dance for everybody. <laughs> and you know what? It feels really great to me outside. It's chilly, yeah. but, like, I'm ready. Full boots, jeans, oh, all that kind man. of stuff. And that's what I think it's going to be this weekend. Really nice. It is going to be a rock and roll weekend. Uh, we got the Beach Music Awards coming up this weekend. All kinds that's right. of stuff happening. Seafood Festival down at Hanser yes. House is going to be happening tomorrow. Definitely go check it out. But first, let's check out our weather. Temperatures are going to be on the cool side, especially today and into this weekend, slightly below normal. Let's check it out what those temperatures are right now. We're mainly in the low to mid 60s, so it is feeling comfortable with low humidity, but for many of you, maybe a bit cool, so you may need a jacket as you head out the door. By this afternoon, we'll cap out mainly in the mid 60s, still under plenty of sunshine, and if you've been outside at all, you're already noticing we have that strong breeze coming in out of the north. That's because we have a front to our south, one to our north, and a very tight pressure gradient in between, that allowing those breezy conditions on this Friday. Of course, ahead of the secondary cold front, we are going to be warmer today, at least than we have been this week. First time we've seen sun in about two and a half days. But as we head through the rest of today and into tonight, we're going to see another cold front push through the area. The result is some colder air moving in overnight, and it's likely to be the coldest so far this season. I'm talking about widespread freezing temperatures across the PD and on the border belt overnight tonight into Saturday morning, mid to upper 30s, closer to the Grand Strand. And if the wind can die down enough, we could have our first frost or freeze potential everywhere of the season. So keep that in mind tonight. You may want to bring inside those uh, outdoor plants or pets and maybe at least cover up those ones that you can't bring inside. So keep that in mind tonight. For that reason, we have a freeze warning in effect overnight tonight into tomorrow morning for every area shaded in deep blue. Of course, that does not include those coastal areas where temperatures will be a little bit warmer. Then again, on Veterans Day by the afternoon, it'll be another cool day thanks to that cold front, not only in the morning, but of course in the afternoon with temperatures only warming into the mid 50s. But if you like cooler air, that'll be perfect for maybe some long sleeves or a light jacket, but still a bit chilly as that wind will remain just slightly elevated. Then as we head into Sunday, a little more cloud cover, but slightly warmer with temperatures in the low to mid 60s. We'll stay in the 60s during the day, for the rest of the week with overnight lows for the Grand Strand in the upper 40s to around 50, which is pretty close to normal for this time of the year. Across the PD and on the border belt will also be in the 60s Sunday through the end of the work week with overnight lows in the 30s the next two nights and then in the 40s for the rest of the week. So overall, if you've been looking for it to feel like November, it is here and it's going to stick around. But keep in mind for any outdoor activity Saturday, you'll likely need some kind of jacket. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, let's talk about the Dickens Christmas Show. It's underway at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. It started yesterday. Yes, There's going to be over 300 vendors there, all kinds of really neat things. They were on our show um, probably about a week or so yeah. ago. It'll get you definitely in the Christmas spirit. Go check it out right there at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. And it runs through Saturday and Sunday of this weekend. That's right, all weekend long. Right. Go by and check it out. All right, let's find out a little bit about the car show that's coming up this Saturday. There we go, the 55 Ford. Check it out. All right, this is going to be at Maggie D's in Myrtle Beach. Uh, this is right behind the mall there at the airport. This show is open to all makes and model cars and trucks, and it's free. That's right, it's free. Handing out five trophies. The rock and roll starts at 11, runs until 2 p.m. Lots of giveaways and fun, and the public is invited to come on and check out all the old cars and trucks. All right, and today is Friday. It is November 11th, and it is National Young Readers Day. And it is Veterans Day. We got to remember that they celebrate. Tomorrow's Veterans well, Day. Well, they celebrate today also as Veterans. Day. Absolutely, right. and definitely celebrate two days. That's Why right. not celebrate all year long? Let's talk about birthdays to. for today. Go for it. All right, 1962. Demi Moore. I used to date her a long time ago. I'll bet. She's 55 years old. In the movies Ghost, you remember that? Strip Tease, great show. G.I. Jane, The Jury, Indecent Proposal, and Before Fame in Music. Before Fame, she was on a music video 
It's not a rumor. All right, 1964, Calista Flockhart, 53 years old, TV brothers and sisters, and won a Golden Globe for that show now, and she's now on the Supergirl series. Yes, all right, 1974, Leonardo DiCaprio. This is a bad <laughs> dude. 43 years old. If you've seen some of his movies, I'm telling you, the boy is tough. Catch Me If You Can, Blood Diamond, Titanic, Wolf of Wall Street, and Before Fame, he did commercials. How about that? And we also want to say happy 242nd birthday to the Marines. Hoorah! That's I right. like that. Okay, 1940, let's go look day in history. The Jeep made its debut. All right, 1976, Kiss released the album Rock and Roll Over. Okay, all right. Let's find out a little bit about today in history. All right, talking about rock and roll. Let's talk about rock and roll legends, okay? Buddy Holly and the Crickets will forever be, be known as the first big name white group now, listen to this, to play the Apollo Theater in Harlem. In 1957, at the time when music acts were listened to and not seen a lot of times, they booked, the promoter booked them at the Apollo. Huh. When they walked in, it was quiet. But when they started singing, the audience went crazy. Buddy Holly and the Crickets they played the Apollo, the first they, white they, group to play. Right, they assumed they were a yeah, black music they group they and when they walked in. That's crazy. How that about is that? Something, isn't it? That makes history for you. We've got a great show lined up. All kinds of neat things going on, especially for your weekend. We'll be right back. All right, do you like chicken bog? I do. You know I Me like chicken Me too. Bog. That's right. Now on the 12th, November 12th, Surf Rider Dream Foundation is having their chicken bog fun rate. It's going to be an awesome event, and they've got some great sponsors as well. That's right. It's going to be at Tito's Down in Merle's Inlet, sponsored by Hyatt Buick GMC. There'll right. also be a number of vendors, and we got Tom and Phil to talk about it. Tom, talk about, you know, y'all really got involved in this. Y'all did this, you know, been doing it for a number of years. Yeah. Now. Two years ago, Phil came to us and uh, asked us to uh, sponsor the event. And uh, Surf Dreams is uh, uh, an organization that uh, gets kids out surfing yeah. right. and uh, that don't have the opportunity to do it. And, uh, you know, Freddie and I and the High Butte GMC, we're all about getting out there and giving to, back to the community. And, and that's what you do. We see you guys sponsor a lot of things in the community, and definitely our hats are off to you. Now, Phil, tell us a little bit about the event and also a little bit about Surf Dreams. Well, the event, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a great Here, deal. Just uh, it, yeah, it really is. is. The I've second, been, this is yeah. the second year. It's great. We yeah. have uh, right at 20 chicken ball cooks this year. <laughs> uh, restaurants, backyard cooks. Uh, last year, uh, it was just a great turnout. The weather was beautiful. Uh, you come, you buy tickets for samples of chicken ball. We have face painting for the kids. Um, we have adult beverages out there as well for the adults and it's just going to be a good time and, and we're going to raise some money. And anytime it's a nice fall day on the inlet, people are going to come out. You guys expect it. definitely a huge crowd. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Event. Looking at this weather report, 65 and sunny, oh, it's going to be, gonna awesome. be a great fall Tito's day. Tito's is located right across from the Claw. Yeah. If you're going down Merle's Inlet, Tito's will be on the right and uh, that's where it's all. You can't miss it when they set up. Now I'll tell you, I went to this thing last year, year I can't remember, but I'm going to tell you what, y'all had so much, it's unbelievable what all y'all had out there. Oh yeah. We just like to, you know, do a lot for the community and make sure there's something for everybody out there. Now, what time's it going to get started? 12 to 4. 12 to 4. Sample start at 12, and then we over around 4. Judging will be at 2. All right. Y'all right, had a lot last year. How much did y'all raise? you remember? Uh, right at 4,500. That's Unbelievable. awesome. Good Fantastic. Good and that Good gives job. the kids the opportunity to do what? Real quick, tell us about Surf Dreams. They go on trips. We pay for their contest entry fees, pay for equipment that they need. Uh, just getting them out there into the ocean. It's our natural resource. So we just take all that and put it right back into the community. Good job, Fantastic. Tom. Hey, Good appreciate job. it. Thank well, you guys for letting us uh, come out here and no, do this. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Have fun and eat lots of chicken balls. Oh, we, we, I <laughs> want to report back who's yeah. got yeah. the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, we've got more coming up. Stick around.
And now we're going to talk about diabetes days, which, uh, you know, a lot of people, they need to know more about this stuff. And they're doing a big deal. It's an education process also, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, over at CMC, there's going to be an event. Um, it's a diabetes event. It's a free uh, finger stick. And guess what? I'm not a nurse or a doctor, so guess who's going to talk about it? Mary Jo, <laughs> Mary jo now why did you, first of all, why did you want to do this yeah. um, type of thing? Is this kind of your specialty or tell us a little bit about you? Well, I'm a nurse. I work at Conway Medical Center and I teach people how to manage diabetes. Okay. And so um, November is Diabetes Awareness Month. So we're having a special event on Tuesday, which is actually World Diabetes Day. So Tuesday, November 14th. That's next week. That's next week. Right, next now, where Tuesday. Where can they come to for all this? Where's yeah, it be and at? What, when are you going to be doing? Some educational seminars? No, we're going to be offering a free finger stick for the community. It's a finger stick A1C. And so that's a measure of a person's blood glucose over the last two to three months. So it's a way doctors can diagnose diabetes and they can also see how a person's managing their diabetes based on the result of that number. And is that something that, you know, if somebody thinks, hey, I might be having this problem, it's a great opportunity, it's free to yes, come out. Yes, it's free, no fasting required for the A1C, so you can eat. Um, we're having it from 6.30 to 8.30, and we do ask that you call and sign up for a time. How do they okay? do that? Now, do they, they can do? call me, my office is 843-347-8013. Okay. Or can they definitely. go to that website? Can they go to that website Yes, also? they can there go to right the Conway there. Medical Center website. Yes. Or, give, or give CMC a call, and I'm sure they'll get yes. in touch yes. with you All right, now, as well. Is this for everybody? I think you said something about the, like the first 60 people or something. We, can, we have enough kits for 60 people. Okay. okay. So the first 60 people that call and, and sign up. Okay, so you need okay, to get you go ahead and do that now. Yes, yes. I would recommend doing it today. There's a lot of people walking around that has, you know, that has diabetes and they don't even know about it. Well, they say 11% of the people in Horry County have wow. diabetes, some form of diabetes. So that's a little bit higher than the national average, which is about 9% of the population. And, and diabetes can be, especially caught early, it can be manageable, and that's what you teach yes. people to do. Tell yes. us kind of what you yeah. teach people to do. We teach people um, how to make healthy lifestyle changes with eating and adding exercise. Um, we also teach them to count, you know, how to count carbohydrates. Sure. Um, maybe how to take certain medications if they, ha if they need to learn how to inject insulin, how to check their um, blood sugar by checking their finger stick and that kind of thing. And the big right. deal is, and if you eat right, you can also reduce your problems. Oh yes, Absolutely. yes, yes, prevention is the key. All right, All right. next Tuesday. That's right, next Tuesday, what time's mm -hmm. it gonna start, 6.30? 6.30 to 8.30. All right, call them All over right. at CMC and give Mary Jo a call. Thanks for being with us Thank today. You. Thank you. We, we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank All you. right, we got more coming up. We got a treat for everybody. A World War II veteran's coming up next on the show. Fantastic. Stay with us. Back to Carolina and Company Live. Okay, with this being the day before Veterans Day, we wanna to talk to you and find out how much you know about the Merchant Marines. That's and right. We actually yeah. have a World War II veteran with us right now. Yep. Clarence Newcomer, he's with us now, and we appreciate you taking time out. And we want to thank you first for everything you've done for your country. Thank you. We do want to thank you that. All right, now we want to find out about the Merchant Marines. A lot of people do not know what they're all about. Yeah. This is right. And uh, one of the things I want to do today is to appeal to the younger generation to get and join our group that meets down at the Veterans Cafe. The third Friday of every month. The Veterans Cafe. The oh, Veterans yeah. Cafe. And we need the younger generation to educate the people as to what the Merchant Marine are and were. We deliver anything and everything to peace and war. Right. We started in mm -hmm. the Revolutionary War. Right. And we're still at it today. Okay. okay. World War II was our big event. We furnished 97, 98% of all the men, supplies, food, anything they needed. Wow. People do not know a D-Day and ask, where did all these men and supplies come from? Merchant Marines. And so they, they don't came know and were history. delivered by the Merchant Marine ships from the United States of America in three theaters. Wow. We delivered everything that was needed. I... And we lost 1,500 ships God. during that war and oh, close to 10,000 men. Wow. All right, now when did and you serve? And we are still yeah. trying today to get recognition. We have a bill in Congress now since 04. Wow. And haven't gotten it passed yet. Mm. Wow. When did you serve? I served in 44 to 46. All right. Made nine trips across the Atlantic Ocean. That's 18 trips over, and thankfully, 
back. <laughs> Thank you, we're back. That's good. That's now, y'all right. are looking for young people I'm to be a member of your group. And right. that's the important we thing. We opened the membership up, the national opened up membership, so we can get the younger generation to help us get the maritime service back into the where it was before. All right. Y'all meet on what nights? Now, when third can they come? Friday, third Friday of every month, it's 12 o'clock for lunch. One o'clock, the meeting starts. Veterans Cafe over Veterans uh, Cafe. Uh, market uh, market, at the market Right outside of Market Common. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's really important to educate and so also to remember looking, that history. We're looking for sons, daughters, grandchildren, any relative of who they knew was in the merchantry, plus any person that's interested in that ocean offer. You know, Anybody looking? Anybody that would like to help us out. That's well, fantastic. that is great. Please come. We, we would appreciate love to you. See appreciate you being here. That's and a right. lot of people okay. were not sure about what the Merchant Marines did. I knew what they did, but a lot of people did not. But we we appreciate you being here. Well, Thank one you so of the much. things I like to ask the people: right. if you eat bananas or yes. drink coffee, yep, you're not going to do it without the Merchant Marine. That's right. <laughs> All it's right. the only way that you're going to get delivered. <laughs> Thank right. you, Clarence. We appreciate. Thank you for being with you. us. Thank you. Thank you really very much. Appreciate it. All right. All right, you guys stick around. We'll be right back. to Carolina and Company Live. All right, this weekend's a big weekend. It's already started down in North Myrtle Beach. We're talking about the Beach Music Awards. And Sunday, the big highlight, every beach music group person will be there on stage, most of them. That's right, and you're going too, right? Yep, I think I'm going too. Am uh, I going? Am I going? I'm sure. going. He's going. There you go. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> All right, let, let's hear about it. I mean, always a really great time, and I can't believe it's already this time of year again. Uh, so, so it's our 23rd annual Carolina Beach Music Awards. It's time to uh, honor the best in Carolina Beach music for 2016-2017. Got a great show lined up. Uh, we got some uh, great artists in the house. Got some surprises on the show this oh, year. Some surprises this yeah, year. Yeah, a few surprise acts on the show. And of course, we are debuting the We Are Beach Music video. I don't know, a lot of people have heard the song. Over 40 beach music artists got together and recorded a oh, song, just cool. like Forever Country. That's if you great. sing the Forever Country, that's one of my favorite things. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. So what we did, we actually, um, actually, Jim Quick was part of that, and got him uh, Rob Harville, who just done the 30 on 30 with Ric Flair. I don't know yeah. if you've seen that. Uh, Rob helped produce that, and they have a video of all the artists singing that. Now that's going to be, gonna be background of all the old clubs and stuff. That's going to be neat cool. to see now. One of my favorites going to be there. Eddie Floyd. Eddie Floyd's in the house. That's we got, right. We got the Alabama connection this year. We've got a uh, not only uh, Eddie Floyd in the house, but Jeff Cook's here. He's down. Yeah. At the, uh, he got up and played some last night. There's we got, Eddie right there with Knock on Wood, one of his right. big hits. Eddie yeah. comes up and hangs out every year. Just loves to be here he for the weekend. And then we got this guy named Jimmy Hall. I don't know if you ever Jimmy heard Hall. Of him. Yeah, so a little bit of uh, street corner serenade. Oh, yeah, street corner serenade. A little weekend. <laughs> a little wet willy, as we call it. And uh, Eddie. Uh, of course, Jimmy's here. He's going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, and then we've got a, this, a friend of ours, Mr. Gary Smith from WLW on Rockingham. He's being inducted as a DJ in the Hall of Fame. So, yeah. uh, got to go. That's one of the AM on. stations that are still broadcasting. Still up in broadcasting AM stereo. Unbelievable. Yes. All right, here's the award. Here's the award. Show the picture of the award real quick. We got to wrap up. We're going to bring him on. Sunday. What time does it start? The show starts at three o'clock. Still got some great seats. Alabama Theater. Alabama Theater. All you right, got to get good. there and get them. I'll That's tell you. Right. All right, coming up, we got a little entertainment for you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, this place is known for beach music, and guess what? We talked about it a minute ago. The Beach Music Awards are happening this weekend at the Alabama Theater. That's right. We got Jimmy Hall with us, a little bit of street corner serenade. That's right. Did that. And also we got Gary Smith. He's going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame too. But we're going to talk with Jimmy first. Now, Jimmy, how did you get into kind of beach music and all, man? How did all this start for you? Well, I, my group was Wet Willie. Yeah. We started out in the early '70s, and we were known for R&B and kind of soul music and the kind of stuff that we wrote and our biggest hit was keep on smiling yeah I'm here we got one of those street corner mm. serenade here all right so go ahead yeah and uh you know and then street corner serenade and uh, make you feel love again a lot of that fit into the r and beer the r and b and which is actually beach music and mm. they were playing my music here along with like delver mcclinton and yeah. and a lot of people eddie floyd and uh that's a great song did you write this Street Corner, yeah, I yeah. co-wrote this with a good friend of ours. Okay. So it was in the band named uh, Michael Duke. Okay. And uh, it was a pleasure. I did a great version with the Embers. Yeah. And that's why they are, you know, we might be able to do this song uh, at the awards. But. All right, so you'll be at the awards. All right, let's move over to Gary right now. Gary right. from WLWL Rockingham, an AM radio station. Some of you young kids never heard of an AM radio station. It's probably. there. It's there, though. Tell them about it, Gary. <laughs> We've you, won 11 Carolina Beach Music Awards for the radio station. Right. Fantastic. Uh, also been inducted into the Hall of Fame, the radio station has, 
and only two stations actually in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, one is the Surf here right. in North Myrtle Beach, and then WLWL. Yeah, AM radio still going, still this, pumping great music. Well, well, congratulations. It's going to be great, and we appreciate it. I was working for the Surf at one time, too. I worked for them in here, so I was working everywhere. You we appreciate you guys being with you, and I My will pleasure. see you Sunday. That's right. And uh, we'll have a good time, and I can't wait to see what kind of surprises Peter has. Oh, well, there's a lot. Never Peter's know. always got You surprises. never know. He's huh. always got surprises. They're great surprises. Yeah. No doubt right. it will be yeah. a fan. Fantastic right. time. All right, guys, we hope you have a wonderful weekend. A lot going on. Chicken Bog is going to be on Sunday. And don't forget tomorrow, 11 o'clock, shucking for a cause down at the Hanser House Restaurant in Pauly's That's Island. Right. And the Beach Music Awards. Yeah, the Beach Music Awards on Sunday and the car show tomorrow at Maggie right. D's. going to be a great time. Guys, it we sure thank will. you so much for being Guess what? Don't go anywhere. You're going to get in a wave. We're going to end the you show. You get to okay? wave in just You're a ready? second. All right. Hold on. Get ready. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Go we'll see you. Have a fantastic and a safe weekend. We I will see we you that. on Monday. Give it Tell a Bye, everybody. See y'all later. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE, ABC 15, WWMB, CW 21, or its employees.